DaVinci Resolve 19.1 is packed with a ton of new updates, but here are six game-changing new features that will level up your workflow. Well, this is a big one. Now you can drag and drop a folder directly from your drive into the media pool, and it will automatically create a bin with all your media inside. And when you enable automatically resync media files, anything you add to that folder on your PC will now show up in your bin. Previously, you could only select one source track in the audio docker. That means the audio will only dip with a single voice or audio track. Now you can hit the plus icon and choose another source track. Finding a shot in my timeline used to be a real pain. I could easily find it in the media pool by right clicking the clip in the timeline and selecting find in media pool or pressing alt F on my keyboard. But now you can find the exact frame in your timeline by opening the dual viewer, selecting the clip in the media pool, locating your frame and hitting F on your keyboard. This new update saves a lot of time going back between the editing and the Fairlight page. You can now open the dynamic and EQ windows directly in your editing page by selecting the EQ and dynamic icons in the mixer section. If you're using the same bin setup for every single project, this new update is a game changer. You can now save a DRB file and load it up anytime without having to rebuild your bins from scratch. Just create a main bin, call it whatever you want and set up all your usual sub bins inside it. Then right click the main bin, select export bin and save it on your drive. Next time you start a new project, just double click that DRB file and DaVinci will open a fresh project with your entire bin setup ready to go. If you ever had to adjust the volume on every single tiny clip because you forgot to adjust the main volume before you started editing, you can now adjust your clip level before dragging it into the timeline. Double click on your clip in the media pool, head to the inspector under file, click the wave icon and adjust the level. I really hope this will improve your workflow. Let me know in the comments what updates you like the most that's not mentioned in this video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.